The Third Treaty of San Ildefonso was a secret agreement signed on 1 October 1800 between the Spanish Empire and the First French Republic by which Spain agreed in principle to exchange their North American colony of Louisiana for territories in Tuscany. The terms were later confirmed by the March 1801 Treaty of Aranjuez. Background for much of the 18th century, France and Spain were allies but after the execution of Louis XVI in 1793, Spain joined the War of the First Coalition against the French First Republic but was defeated in the War of the Pyrenees. In August 1795, Spain and France agreed the Peace of Basel, with Spain ceding their half of the island of Hispaniola, the modern Dominican Republic. In the 1797 Second Treaty of San Ildefonso, Spain allied with France in the War of the Second Coalition and declared war on Britain. This resulted in the loss of Trinidad and more seriously, Menorca, which Britain occupied from 1708 to 1782 and whose recovery was the major achievement of Spain's participation in the 1778–1783 Anglo-French War. Its loss damaged the prestige of the Spanish government, while the British naval blockade severely impacted the economy, which was highly dependent on trade with its South American colonies, particularly the import of silver from Mexico. The effect was to place the Spanish government under severe political and financial pressure, the national debt increasing eightfold between 1793 to 1798. Louisiana was only part of Spain immense empire in the Americas which it received as a result of the 1763 Treaty of Paris. Preventing encroachment by American settlers into the Mississippi Basin was costly and risked conflict with the U.S., whose merchant ships Spain relied on to evade the British blockade. Colonies were viewed as valuable assets, the loss of the sugar islands of Saint-Domingue, Martinique and Guadeloupe between 1791 to 1794 had a huge impact on French business. Restoring them was a priority and when Napoleon seized power in the November 1799 coup of 18 Brumaire, he and his deputy Charles Talleyrand emphasized French expansion overseas. Their strategy had a number of parts, one being the 1798–1801 Egyptian campaign, intended in part to strengthen French trading interests in the region. In South America, Talleyrand sought to move the border between French Guiana and Portuguese Brazil south to the Araguari or Amapa River, taking in large parts of northern Brazil. A third was the restoration of New France in North America, lost after the 1756–1763 Seven Years' War, with Louisiana providing raw materials for French plantations in the Caribbean. The combination of French ambition and Spanish weakness made the return of Louisiana attractive to both, especially as Spain was being drawn into disputes with the U.S. over navigation rights on the Mississippi River. Talleyrand claimed French possession of Louisiana would allow them to protect Spanish South America from both Britain and the U.S. Provisions The treaty was negotiated by French General Louis Alexander Berthier and the Spanish former Chief Minister Mariano Luis de Urquillo. In addition to Louisiana, Berthier was instructed to demand the Spanish colonies of East Florida and West Florida, plus ten Spanish warships. Urquillo rejected the request for the Floridas but agreed Louisiana plus. Six ships of war in good condition built for 74 guns, armed and equipped and ready to receive French crews and supplies. In return, Charles IV wanted compensation for his son-in-law Louis, Infanta Duke of Parma, since France wanted to annex his inheritance of the Duchy of Parma. Details were vague, clause 2 of the treaty simply stating it may consist of Tuscany or the three Roman legations or of any other continental provinces of Italy which form a rounded state. Urquillo insisted Spain would hand over Louisiana and the ships only once France confirmed which Italian territories it would receive in return. Finally, the terms reaffirmed the alliance between France and Spain agreed in the 1796 Second Treaty of San Ildefonso. Topic aftermath topic on the 9th of February 1801, France and the Austrian Emperor Francis II signed the Treaty of Luneville, clearing the way for the Treaty of Aranjuez in March 1801. This confirmed the preliminary terms agreed at Ildefonso and created the short-lived Kingdom of Etruria for Maria Luisa's son-in-law Louis. 
The treaty has traditionally been seen as extremely one-sided in favor of France but modern historians are less critical. In reality, Spain exercised effective control only over a small part of the territory included in the 1803 Louisiana Purchase while an attempt to control U.S. expansion into Spanish territories by the 1795 Pinckney's Treaty proved ineffective. Spain's chief minister Manuel Godoy saw disposal as a necessity, later justifying it at length in his memoirs. From 1798 to 1800, France and the U.S. waged an undeclared war at sea, the so called Quasi War, which was ended by the Convention of 1800 or Treaty of Mortefontaine. The U.S. viewed French ambitions in North America with great concern, since with British Canada to the north, they wanted to avoid an aggressive and powerful France replacing Spain in the south. For commercial reasons, Napoleon wanted to re establish France in North America, the November 1801 Saint Domingue expedition being the first step. The March 1802 Treaty of Amiens ended the War of the Second Coalition, and in October, Spain transferred Louisiana to France. However, by now it was clear the Saint Domingue expedition was a catastrophic failure. Between May 1802 and January 1803, a yellow fever epidemic killed over 40,000, including Napoleon's brother in law, General Charles Leclerc. This made Louisiana irrelevant and with France and Britain once more on the verge of hostilities, France sold Louisiana to the U.S. for $15 million in April 1803, much of the purchase price being borrowed from British bankers. Topic see also topic First Treaty of San Ildefonso Second Treaty of San Ildefonso West Florida Adams Onus Treaty Convention of 1800 Treaty of Luneville topic Footnotes topic topic References topic topic Source topic Kanga Argales, José, Diccionario de Hacienda, 1826 in Spanish, Godoy, Manuel, Memoirs of Don Manuel de Godoy, Prince of the Peace, Duke del Alcudia, Count de Everamonti Vol. 2, Nabu, 2012 ed., Hecht, Susanna, The Scramble for the Amazon and the Lost Paradise of Euclides da Cunha, University of Chicago, 2003, Kemp, Roger ed., Documents of American Democracy, McFarland & Co., 2010. Maltby, William, The Rise and Fall of the Spanish Empire, Palgrave, 2008, Rodriguez, Junius P. Ed., the Louisiana Purchase, A Historical and Geographical Encyclopedia, ABC Clio, 2002. Sanchez, Rafael Torres, Constructing a Fiscal Military State in 18th Century Spain, AIAA, 2015. Tarver, Michael H. Author, editor, Slape, Emily, author, editor, The Spanish Empire, an Historical Encyclopedia, ABC Clio, 2016. Topic. External links. Topic. Avalon Project – Treaty Text <laughs>